Hi guys, what is up? Raghav Sharma here, back with another video. So today in this video, I'll be reviewing this portable SSD, which is Samsung T5 SSD. So I bought this for uh, from Amazon for about rupees 4500 on sale. So I think it was a pretty much good uh, deal. So uh, this will be a very detailed video. I'll be covering almost everything which I should uh, cover for a portable SSD. So uh, let's first uh, uh, talk about the box. What's all written on it? So on the front side, we actually uh, get uh, uh, the Samsung badging and uh, a visual uh, uh, picture of the SSD. On the side, also there's the badging of T5 SSD. On the back, we can see it says 540 Mbps transfer speed. Also, it says that it can withstand uh, drops for up to uh, two meters, which is very impressive. I think it comes with a three-year warranty. So th this was almost all about the box. There's nothing much to more to show you show you. So now let's open the box and see what what's all we get inside So for opening the box, I have to tamper this seal. So I'll just pull it over to open and here I go So when the seal is off we can directly open the box And now let's slide uh, open the contents which are in it and firstly when we slide we can see the SSD itself so uh, this is uh, the blue version I got the blue color and it's uh, the 500 GB model so there's another very good packaging over here so I'll open this and try to get out the SSD but I am a bit struggling on it so let's first check out the uh, cables so firstly we get this user manual which India uh, which in India people don't actually read and firstly we get a cable which is for a USB A to USB C so it will be used for old computers which have USB A port and there is another cable for USB C to USB C like you can use on uh, Android phones and MacBooks or uh, PCs which require USB C so here is the SSD so let me actually take it out from this uh, uh, mold and uh, over here uh, is the SSD and it looks so good all metallic finish and it's so small uh, on the back it's written Samsung SSD and on the front also there's the badging of Samsung on the bottom there's written some serial number model numbers and on the top there is this USB-C port so the USB cable will act actually go here so uh, talking about the size of the SSD it is very small uh, as compared to an HHD so here I also have an HHD which is also 500 GB hard disk so let me just open it up the box of this SSD is actually a bit dirty because it's very old uh, firstly let me show you the comparison of uh, this SSD it can fit in my hand easily it's about my finger uh, length long and uh, that's all so let me just open the uh, HDD also so here is uh, a WD HHD it's also 500 GB as I told you uh, so it's quite big and uh, in comparison the SSD is like half of its size and very impressive size uh, can be seen of the SSD so uh, this uh, HDD actually had a USB A that was the reason that I have to replace it because it was not able to uh, rightly connect to my laptop so that was all for the comparison also I want to tell you the speed difference is much more this can uh, give uh, 500 mbps of uh, transfer speed while that was HHT was giving around 20 so let's connect this to a laptop now so here I have my laptop so you can see it's uh, smaller than my trackpad So let me open my macbook and firstly show you the storage of my macbook that it was almost full only 7-8 GB was left so that's why I required a hard disk uh, very eagerly and uh, I got one so this is the USB C cable which I earlier showed you earlier also so we'll be connecting one end of this on the SSD and the other end on the macbook so here it connects and as soon as it connects we can see the SSD uh, uh, folder uh, show on the uh, desktop screen only and here it asked for a time machine backup which I don't require right now so I'll uh, actually skip it now I can go into finder and can see this Samsung T5 SSD now it is showing some uh, uh, already uh, some files which are already placed on the folder so these are some setups for the software 
so we'll see them later firstly let's try to transfer a file so here are some raw pictures of my old uh, youtube video they are uh, they are about 18 gb of size so i'll copy them you can see 18.49 gb so i'll copy them now and uh, i'll go and paste it over in the hard disk so here i go so now you can see the timer has started below and you can see how fast it is going just 200 300 mbps speed is uh, easily coming now i want to say here that uh, my laptop also has an ssd storage so an ssd to ssd transfer will be faster if you have an old laptop which is having a hdd st uh, storage then i think this uh, speed will be slow slower because the hdd will be slower SDD to SDD will be preferred but if you are having an old laptop I don't think you will get any benefit in speed so it took around 43 seconds to transfer an 18 GB file which my HDD would have taken minutes so here is this disk speed test software I found on the app store and I have used to test my disk speed so write speed is constantly coming around 457 mbps while the read speed is around 500-502 mbps so this is a quite impressive speed so now let's install the ssd software so there are two options here one is for macbook second is for windows I have clicked for macbook and here is this install setup so I am now installing it it requires my fingerprint so I give it and the installation has started but uh, when I was installing an error occurred I think and uh, the installation was stuck so I waited for a few seconds but I was able to see the portable SSD software installed but the uh, installer was not going f further so I decided to wait for some time but after some time also uh, there was no change uh, the bar was stuck so I decided to open the software and when I opened the software it was working so I thought uh, there was some problem in the installation I don't know what happened so the software was working fine so I forced up the installer uh, later on so uh, when I uh, attached the SSD when the software was on it was asking to set up for a password so I think this uh, app is only for encrypting the SSD so that we can actually put a password on it so that when we connect it on any computer we have to first put the password and then only we can uh, see the contents in the SSD so now I should tell you why I bought this SSD so I also develop Android apps and iOS apps and the app files are huge like uh, the number of files are huge you can see copying 85,000 files and it, they are only 3 GB of files but they are 84,000 and I think uh, copying a particular file also takes some time you can see it is sh showing about 10 minutes to transfer this much of, uh, these much of files on an STD but while I was tra uh, trying to transfer this to my HDD uh, it was showing an estimated time of uh, one one and a half day which is huge so I required something like this SSD so now let's try to connect this SSD to a phone so here I have this oneplus phone and you can see there is a, a USB-C port over here so I can directly connect uh, the SSD to this phone so here I connect it and as soon as I connected I uh, actually found but uh, nothing was shown so I discovered that we firstly have to turn on the OTG function so uh, some phones might have this setting that we have to turn on the OTG function but some phones automatically turn it on so I have turned on the OTG function and I can see the Samsung portable STD detected so now I can go to the file manager and actually use uh, this SSD to store anything on my phone or actually reading uh, files from it anything can be done from it so here you can see the Samsung T5 is showing and uh, uh, if I actually go to some DSLR pics and uh, open a pic now you can see the uh, thumbnail of the pictures are loading very slow this is because the pictures are quite large 10 11 MB of pictures so as you can see the clarity is maintained all set I can see the pictures 
this is all so now let's talk about the problems of this ssd so now i want to tell you that when i connected this ssd to my oneplus phone the video files which were saved on the ssd automatically got deleted now i think this is a problem with the oneplus file manager that all the video files actually deleted but the folders were intact on their places nothing else deleted only the video files deleted now i don't know why this happened but i uh, searched it on the uh, web and i got some uh, information on the oneplus forums that people also uh, got uh, this problem but there was a uh, nothing any good reply that i could see people were saying that it was their fault or something they did wrong because files deleted but in my case i ejected the uh, ssd very properly then also this happened secondly i want to tell you that this is getting heated very much when i am transferring big files like 60 70 gb of files when uh, are getting transferred the ssd is heating a lot so this was all for the video thanks for watching my video i hope it helped you don't forget to like to and subscribe to my channel